How would you like to see the impacts that horses and nature have on the mind of a child with special needs? How would you like to and see them have a career and learn skills important to success in the future. How would you like to see them grow into a strong and independent young adult? Today's guest will talk about her nonprofit organization and her mission to employ and support children and young adults with special needs. The, hum the Humanities Mass Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents Person to Person and now join our host and meet today's guest. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of Person to Person. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, and, and operating cameras for the first time today. The students in the program, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. This program gives students the chance to enter the community and interview people with interesting stories to share. Our guest today is a small business owner who runs a recreation center for children and young adults who have special needs. She has been expanding her business within the last few years and has come to the show to, to share some of the changes with us. We would like to welcome Doreen Caruso to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what inspired you to create this writing program? I had learned a few years ago that um, horses change people's lives um, and that this was a component of the business that we had always looked into as expanding um, once the opportunity arose. And approximately four years ago, um, I was able to start a pilot program at another farm um, to see how um, this would, would work for our business. And um, within a year, we had approximately 40 students riding. So we um, realized that this was going to be a huge opportunity and expansion for us. Um, so then we had looked to um, other farms that we would be able to move our program to full time, which is what we did um, approximately three years ago. We found our own farm, which we have now been at for three years and have been working really hard to grow the program. That's really great. Um, so what are some of the challenges that you had to overcome with the indoor riding arena? Well, any, any challenge of raising funds to be able to do so, um, that's a huge undertaking, getting it through the town bodies, going mm -hmm. through building permits, and getting neighbors to understand, you know, people don't want things in their backyard sometimes, and yeah. we're intimidated <laughs> by the process of us building, you know, a 100 by 70 indoor riding arena that it was going to bring a lot of traffic to the neighborhood um, because of the location that it is. It's up in Greenfield Hill in Connecticut, which is a quieter neighborhood. Um, a Fairfield. So that was a huge challenge for us, you know, reassuring neighbors that we weren't going to be bringing too much traffic. It was going to be very laid back, very, you know, very calm, very quiet, relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. And um, for it would be cause. good, right? Exactly, yeah. and it would be good for the whole neighborhood. Um, we named it the Pilot House Community Farm because it was about bringing the community together, not segregating, and you know, coming together to help each other and and to have this beautiful facility, not only for riding, but you know, it's it's getting back to nature, and and that's good for everybody in in today's day and age. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you've accomplished a lot in a very small amount of time. Um, so can you tell us more about the farm you built and the therapeutic riding program that you created? Um, we started out um, with just a few riders and have grown it into a huge program. Um, the benefits um, to it have really changed life because the kids are learning independent skills. Um, they're proud of themselves at, at what they're able to do in, in controlling a horse. Um, most students that have disabilities have people hovering over them on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And when you're riding, um, they're in control of the horse. They're at a higher level than they're than they're teachers and staff around them that they can see the world very differently. Um, the, con the farm is very calm and serene. We have beautiful trails that we're able to take the kids out on. Um, the indoor arena allows us to ride year round so we're not changing up the program that they have consistency which is really important for the special needs community. Um, and now we're actually going to be expanding um, our offerings into working with veterans. So we're constantly growing um, and expanding, inviting more different people to the farm so that they can benefit from, from what nature can, can give back to you, especially these horses. That's a really fascinating program. Um, and I know that you're running an after-school program as well. Could you tell right. us a bit more yeah, about Yeah, Pilot that? House originally started as an after-school program um, where children with disabilities can go and have fun and be like their typical peers. Um, so I started that program um, 11 years ago. Um, so it grew literally from the basement of a school um, that we rent, we utilize space from to now we have, for the last nine years, we've been operating our own facility in Fairfield. 
That's really great. So uh, what inspired you to start this program? Um, my son is on the, um, has special needs, and when he was younger, um, he wasn't able to access other programs because of his disability and because of some medical concerns. So it was really sad as a parent that you know my child didn't have the same opportunities as other children, and I felt him along with many other students and other kids had the opportunity to be a kid first, and the disability shouldn't drive what they're able to accomplish or able to participate in. So that's how Pilot House was born. That's really excellent. That's a it's a it's a very unique um, take on uh, helping uh, children to sort of, as you said, like kind of find new heights, right? Literally and figuratively. So um, I heard that you have you're opening a program to employ young adults. Uh, we have, what is that program? We have. Um, it's called Yes We Can. Um, the vision of Pilot House from the beginning was always to take them from you know early childhood up and through adulthood. Um, and so that's what Yes We Can will offer. Um, we were struggling with a name of what we were going to call it, and a friend of mine, every time I said something about doing something, she, and she would like, oh, no, you can. I'd be like, yes, we can. <laughs> and so that's how Yes We Can was born, because I believe that everyone can. You just need the right support behind you and to believe. Um, so Yes We Can um, started in October. Um, we launched in October. We will be opening up our official store um, March 10th at our facility um, where these young adults have taken all of the classes the last 10 years that we've been working with them. For instance, our baking class, we've, given, we've done music, photography, paintings. All of these classes now within those classes um, will now be filtered over into um, a product that they've made. So their paintings have been, and their photography has been transformed into greeting cards. Um, our baking class is doing our organic uh, um, dog treats and horse treats. Um, then our crafters are doing, they've learned how to make organic soap. Um, they are doing um, hand poured soy candles. We're doing organic bath bombs. Um, then we're doing some kind of wood, wood crafts as well. So again, we're trying to encapsulate everything that we teach them. Even though it's a social and recreational program, it's really honing on skills and giving them these opportunities to take their craft and their love and passion of something into something that they can carry on with them for, for their lives and also enjoy going to work every day. That's really excellent. So you're not only helping um, children to sort of, um, you're not only helping children, but you're also sort of, the program grows with them. Correct. Of. That's been the vision, is always to be there to support them right through. Um, our long-term vision, and that's what I'll probably retire is when I accomplish <laughs> this, is um, assisted living. Um, that is our long-term goal for the farm, is to make it a true living, working farm. Um, so that's, like I said, probably when I'll retire, when I finally accomplish that mission and hand it off, you know, hand the business off to the kids and let them continue the vision and, and see it through. That's really inspiring and really excellent. Thank you. So we hope you enjoyed meeting our guest today. She hopes to keep expanding her business and keep giving these young adults more opportunities in the community. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you for having me. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. This is the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That was easy. It's a beautiful facility as well. It is. Yeah. <laughs> we love it. It's grown tremendously every day. It's expanding. It's so where is it located? We're in Fairfield. your host, Jessica, directed by Chris Caruso. I'm your announcer, Marcus. Person to Person is a Norwalk Community College student production.